This is Catechlan Port, guys. It's 5 a.m. Ang mga tripulante ng MV Trans Asia 20 ay walang pananagutan Time check guys, it's 6 a.m. now here in Manila, Pasay, Tramo and 3 hours from now we will be riding a bus over there going to Iloilo City. Hi baby! Good morning! That's the hotel girls So this is where we're gonna ride guys, going to Iloilo City. Or you can go to other places as well, listed here. And time check guys, it's now 9 a.m. I am here at the bus terminal. I do advise guys that you must book your ticket a day before your trip so you can have your shore seat on the day of your travel. This is because the seats are limited guys and there's only one trip per day to Iloilo and some other places. I highly suggest guys if it's your first time um, you book it directly here at the terminal to make sure that you have a ticket for tomorrow because I tried it online it didn't work for me and from here you can ask questions and also get a package that is direct to the destination of you will be going because it's hassle free and all you have to do is just simply enjoy riding the bus and the transfers. <laughs> so the bus guys departed almost 12 noon. Um, actually this should supposed to be only 20 hours of travel according to Google but in this experience I had guys it took me more than 24 hours and it's really not that far I noticed it is only because of the stopovers the transfers the wait time that it's really taking a long time welcome to Magalhães I took this video when I was here in Makati City and I just wanted to show to you that this is MRT Magallanes in which you can ride an MRT from here going to other places. Now we are approaching guys to the Alabang Terminal so there will be another stop over there to wait for other passengers who booked the ticket. Uh, the conductor actually told me in order for you to save more for your fare, you can ride a jeepney or a carousel bus from Pasay to Alabang and then book a ticket from there because it's gonna save you some hundreds of pesos. Like for me, I paid around 2,600 including the ship fee or the ferry. That's the total package promo that they have per person. But if you're gonna book it from Alabang, guys, it will cost you only around 2,100 to 2,200. So that's about 400 to 500 oh. pesos savings. Or could be more savings. Oh. And I hope you're gonna join me, guys, in this journey. Until the end of this video, basically, this is a compilation of my trip going to Iloilo City because. This is Alabang, guys. Because it's a very long hours travel, and I'm very curious how does it feels like, what the places looks like, because this is the first time. And of course, I hope you could learn something from me in this journey. And I have also other tips, guys, at the ship. I discovered something as well, in which I'm gonna be sharing you um, in the middle part of this video when we are already at the Batangas port. Okay, love you guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel so I will be inspired as well to make more videos and have it uh, more better for you and helpful.
now we're here in Munting Lupa City. And we are here now guys in Alabang Bus Terminal. Lipat lipat pala to guys. Now transferring a bus to Iloilo. We're on it. Another bus guys. During your trip guys, nothing to worry about your food because anywhere they sell food here, some food at the bus terminal but you can definitely bring your own food guys for you to be able to save and also for your convenience and there's something that you need to know guys here in Alabang uh, comfort room my god guys you just gonna pee it's 10 pesos same as you poop it's like the comfort room is air conditioned it's not guys really flash is not even working it's obviously corruption <laughs> here in alabang bus terminal guys i've noticed that there are a number of travel services that they offer that you can be able to inquire and avail with and i think it's really best guys to come to alabang and book your ticket from here so you can be able to get a good price for the package you can have a lot of options as well because as you've noticed there are a couple of buses there to iloilo via different places so if you're planning for adventure it's really a good thing that you come first to alabang and inquire so the bus guys departed from Alabang Terminal around 2 p.m. Imagine I was 9 a.m. at Pasay Terminal and then just waited from Alabang until 2 p.m. Imagine how many hours already that wait that takes you. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I think we are moving out now guys in Manila City. We are now in San Pedro, Laguna. Here I can see some villages around and subdivisions. Look guys, it's Lazada, one of our e-commerce biggest platform here in the Philippines where we do online shopping. And this kind of exciting journey for me guys because this is the first time and it's a long trip and I don't have any idea what's gonna happen next. And we're finally here guys in Batangas Terminal. This is my first time to see Shopwise Mall. We arrived in Batangas guys around 5.30 in the afternoon. So it's around 4 hours of travel from Alabang to Batangas Bus Terminal. So for me guys, I really don't recommend this one if you are traveling with a lot of baggage with you because you will be transferring from one bus to another and when we arrive at the port, we need to move out to the ferry to sleep and then transfer again back to the bus so it's not really convenient guys this is only if you prefer adventure and you want to have a tour around our places here in the philippines <laughs> Now we're moving guys to Batangas Fort. From bus terminal guys is just 15 minutes away to Batangas Fort. Welcome! And tayo, we're here at the port! Oh my god! So we arrived here almost 6 p.m. at 5.45 in the afternoon. If you're gonna ask me guys if this travel is worth it, 
uh, for me this is still worth it because this is my first time I experience uh, like this I'm able to see other places I'm able to um, okay learn something in this trip so it's still worth it guys whatever happened in our life may it be good or bad things everything are worth it because behind it um, there are learnings that we can be able to share and apply for our future success At first guys, I really did not know what's going on, why we need to go down at the bus. I thought uh, we are now moving to the ferry, but basically, um, this is what they do here. They will have a dog search at the bus for safety purposes. Two hours later. Guys, welcome to Batangas I had slept inside the bus guys for around two hours while we are waiting to get inside the port because the ship hasn't arrived yet. And then this is the bus. So finally guys, we are now able to get inside the port. Here at the port guys. And guess what? We have waited for almost four hours here at the port because um, the bus arrived 6 p.m. at the port and the ferry that we are going to ride uh, will arrive at 9 p.m. So we needed to wait before we can be able to get inside the port and we need to wait another hour again for the boarding of all the passengers to the ship. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and finally guys we are now going aboard to the ferry it's our boat landing the ship that one the starlight <laughs> now we're walking towards to the ship oh my god <laughs> Almost there. I thought it was the small one. Wow. This is the port. <sighs> so strange. Do you hear that music, guys? <laughs> cool. I want to go up there. Wow, this is a lot of people. So finally guys, I am now inside the ship and I have upgraded my economy deck into tourist class. And did you remember I told you before that there's something that I've learned from the ship that I want to share you about? So let's begin with, I got a free meal guys when I upgraded to birds. I paid 1,300 and just the linen which is included. This is the secret guys for you not to do the same mistake as me because usually the package that we can buy at the cheaper price at the bus terminal is for economy class only for the ferry. I'm not sure if there is an option for you to be able to get a tourist class for the ferry at the bus terminal because um, when I book my ticket, they didn't ask me if I want economy or tourist class in the ferry. They just gave me the ticket right away. A porter advised me guys that it's not ideal to upgrade your economy bed right away to a tourist class because 
um, you can possibly get it for free. Um, you just have to wait first for all the passengers to be on board and wait for the ferry to already depart from the port. And then once they've done all the checking, then they don't care anymore. Okay, trust that they don't care anymore. So after that, you can check at the tourist class because all the doors will be open. That's the time guys that you will have the opportunity to check to see if there is a vacant bed at the tourist class. Then you can just simply sleep there and transfer. So no need for you to pay anything or upgrade your deck. Just simply transfer discreetly to the tourist class uh, room whenever there is a space so you can be able to enjoy your privacy and the air condition. So I'm going back now guys to my bed to rest. Uh, I've chosen the deck guys near to the restroom so it will be very convenient for me if I want to change, if I want to pee and poop. <laughs> and I think I need to rest now after a long wait, transfer and travel and I'll see you guys in the morning this is Cataclan Port guys it's 5 a.m. From Katiklan Port guys going to Iloilo City, it will take around 5 hours or more by bus depending on the traffic condition and the passengers as well going in and out. And I was not able to take a video guys from Katiklan going to Iloilo City because I was still very sleepy so I went to sleep at the bus and then it was because the air conditioned of the ferry was very cold so I was not able to sleep very well and I think the economy class that guys is okay for you to be able to sleep at the ferry temporarily trust me <laughs> so I hope this is something that can help you guys when uh, you go for this option like if you miss a plane like me and the plane ticket is kind of expensive and you really need to be home by the next day so you can do the same. After more than 5 hours of travel guys from Katiklan Port, we finally arrived in Mohon, Iloilo City around 11 o'clock in the morning. And from Mohon guys, Iloilo City, you will still need to ride a jeepney or a minibus going to Iloilo City proper and it will take around 20 to 30 minutes to arrive. So as far as I can remember guys, I have arrived around almost 12 noon. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. It's gonna be all about Iloilo City where you gonna stay and I have some tips as well what you can do in Iloilo City where you can go and what are the good things about Iloilo City so this is all my video for today guys and I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed my experience traveling this long so far it's the first time long travel that I've had ever in my life yet and I look forward for more travel vlogs I hope one day we will have international travel as well guys so I can be able to um, enhance my insights about lifestyle and culture of other country and for a better quality video viewing as well so take care guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video take care love you bye